I really felt on Tuesday night, and I hope the way you all felt too, was that it was a clear and convincing affirmation of the work. Governor Christie this afternoon held his first cabinet meeting since winning re-election last week. His press secretary, Michael Druniak, says the governor is still charting out his agenda for the next year, a point Christie alluded to this morning during a visit to the County College of Mars. Because I'm still getting used to the idea that I have this job for another four years, but I have lots of plans and lots of ideas about what to do with those next four years. The governor didn't take questions today, but Sunday, in one of his four network talk show appearances, he was asked about the next 12 months. Well, in the next year, we want to lower taxes in New Jersey, income taxes in New Jersey. Um, I'd like to continue education reform by even a greater expansion of charter schools, getting choice, school choice for parents, um, so that in failing schools in New Jersey, and there's 200 failing schools in New Jersey, that those parents can get a voucher to send their child to a private or parochial school. We want to continue along those paths and also continue to grow private sector jobs in our economy. The County College of Morris is getting $10 million from the state for a new music technology building and engineering labs. The money is from last year's higher ed bond issue, which Christie sees as part of his legacy. It had been 25 years since the state of New Jersey had invested any capital funds in any of our state colleges and universities. Uh, it just outrageous failure uh, by both parties. He worked it into his new brand, the Bipartisan Pragmatist. That's why I was so happy to work with the legislature, both parties. And there was a little swipe at the Rand Paul libertarian wing of his party. There will be some who will argue that um, this isn't government's role. Um, I disagree. Um, I disagree. I think if what you want to do is try to spur growth in the private sector, um, the government has to be a partner. Someone in the audience wanted him to support the DREAM Act, in-state tuition for undocumented aliens. Spokesman Druniak said Christie will react after Democrats give him something to sign. A Republican assemblywoman had her own wish. I'm a big supporter of full-day kindergarten, so I'm hoping that he looks at that and preschool. But um, all over, education reform has to take place. We told the assemblywoman that on Face the Nation, the governor seemed to have different education priorities. We'll look at those areas and work with the governor. But it can't just be charter schools and vouchers. We have to look across the board, and I, I believe you will do that. The year ahead also means more travel for Christie as chairman of the Republican Governors Association starting next week. In Randolph, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.